Hey everybody, uh, so we are back with a brand new video. Uh, if you can tell by my shirt, it's a froppy video. Everybody's favorite best girl from My Hero Academia. Uh, there was a figure that came out. Supposed to come out last month, and it got delayed, but it is finally here. It's a froppy video. Here we go. So uh, we're going to kind of try like a little bit of a, of a different setup uh, with this video. We are in our second bedroom. You can tell all the uh, cool stuff behind us. Um, but uh, this figure, it is a 1 8 scale froppy figure. Um, who the heck makes this? It's, it's the hero suit version. It is Bell, Bell Fine. Um, we got this from Ami Ami. It was about 150 US dollars after shipping. The shipping was about, shipping was about 40. We tend to get DHL on our figures because they allow for a customizable delivery, which is very nice. Um, but definitely check out Ami Ami. They have some great stuff. Uh, but let's show you guys what Froppy looks like. All right, so you can see her uh, inside the box. Like I said, it is a 1 8 scale painted figure. It's her hero suit version. And yes, it is an authentic figure licensed by Toho. Um, you can see her in there. I cannot wait to unbox her. She's easily my favorite character from My Hero Academia. Uh, but you can see... On the front of the box, she has her tongue sticking out. On the side of the box, uh, some shots of her without the tongue. So I'm I love this figure because it's kind of like a, a comic esque figure with the splash. There is uh, an Ochako figure coming out that we have pre-ordered that I think comes out this month also. So you can see the box, nothing fancy on the bottom, just that it's a 1 8 scale painted figure. And on the top, some more embellishments. Uh, but I know what everybody's waiting for. Let's unbox her. All right, everybody. So I've got uh, the light from my phone on Froppy. So I'm going to show you without her uh, head apparatus or goggles. And without her tongue first, um, I have to say I am, I am highly, highly impressed by this figure. We got a one eighth scale Bungo Stray Dogs figure recently, and I feel like it seemed tiny. This figure is awesome. Such a great, a great pose. One day I'll get something that allows for me to turn it without without my hands. Um, but I I am I'm loving the paint on this, uh, and you can see the the base. Like I said, it's very comic esque. Uh, it it looks great. I I feel like I don't see any sort of flaws in the paint job. Um, very cool details on her feet as well. The water effects are definitely really cool looking. Um, so let's let's uh, swap the faces and I'll show you what she looks like with the different face. All right, so there she is with her goggles and her tongue sticking out. Um, I'm much preferring this look. Uh, the The glasses are cool. They are or the the goggles. They're they're not lit up. Um, it's just a reflection of the light, but they're kind of like a reflective glass surface almost and you can see her tongue it kind of goes in um, a little hole on the side of her mouth and then there was an optional piece that allows you to kind of connect the actual goggles but yeah so that is the froppy figure um, I am extremely pleased with how she turned out 
What a great figure. Oh, the head part came off. Whoops. Definitely, I would recommend you guys getting this figure if you like My Hero Academia. If you like awesome figures. Any of that. Uh, but hopefully you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought, and we'll see you next time. Bye!